under tough conditions, both here at a very wet williams Bryce Stadium and after a tough loss last week to Georgia, the Gamecocks are looking to bounce back. Earlier this week, Coach Spurrier announced he would start freshman Lorenzo Nunez. Will that be enough to get this Gamecock offense rolling? Let's take a look. It's safe to say the Gamecocks controlled the first quarter of the game, making great plays on defense and completing passes on offense. Lorenzo Nunez would prove that he is a dual threat quarterback, running the ball when at all possible and making several complete passes to Fair Cooper. The Gamecocks defense would hold up, but the offense would have a hard time making plays. Fair Cooper would fumble a kickoff return and UCF would have the ball at the one yard line. They would take this opportunity in the red zone to score, heading into the half up by six points. Coach Spurrier would pep talk his guys at halftime, and that would seem to do the trick. Lorenzo Nunez would find a way and make a hole for Fair Cooper, leading them to score and taking the lead 15 to 14. South Carolina would quickly get the ball back with the first of two TJ Holloman interceptions. Nunez would fake a handoff to the left and find Jacob August for his first career touchdown catch. UCF would continue and try to pull their offense together, but that wouldn't be enough, and the Gamecocks would come out with a victory this afternoon, winning 31-14 to over Central Florida. After the game, Coach Spurrier sat down with us at the press conference and told us he was very pleased with the way Lorenzo Nunez played this afternoon. He says time will truly tell for the South Carolina football team. The Gamecocks travel to play a top 25 ranked team, Missouri, where they could face a lot more challenges. For Capital City Sports, I'm Kristen Whitaker.